Hey guys, it's All Things Fun in Florida again. Um, just going to give you a weekend wrap up of uh, some of the stuff I picked up at estate sales, garage sales, and thrift stores. So I'll go ahead and start here in front. Um, nice Easton. Um, Stealth SC90. Um, it's only a 27 inch, so normally the better selling ones are the, the 32s and bigger. But since I have a seven year old, I think I'll keep this one and uh, he can use it. So, uh, pick that up for $5. It, they usually sell around 60. The smaller ones will probably sell for 30 or so. Um, this is kind of interesting. This is a, uh, a Yonix GR330 um, tetherball racket. And I didn't know anything about tetherball rackets. So, I looked this one up because it looked different. It was a lot heavier, and it turns out that these are uh, these are actually pretty expensive tetherball rackets. So this one should sell in this condition without the bag. I'll probably it'll probably only sell for about twenty bucks, but I only paid a dollar eighteen for it, and that was a goodwill find. So not a bad pickup. Another thing I picked up at the goodwill was. These 35, an 35 year anniversary G.I. Joe. Um, not too bad. They, uh, they're not complete. The boxes are in pretty bad shape. This guy's missing the gas mask and the helmet. But in this shape, I got them for $2.98. And I should be able to turn them into a $20 bill maybe. If not, oh well. If they go for $15, then I'm fine with that. So I got two of those. We got the Millennial Salute version. Um, he looks like he's complete. He has the badge, but he's actually got the wrong gun. He's got an M16 um, when he's supposed to have an M1. So I don't know where his actual gun was. Um, let's see. Got some Nintendo 64 cartridges. Um, Ken Griffey. Baseball, NBA Jams 99, Knockouts 2000, um, Country Club Golf, a NFL Quarterback Club 2000, and then two WWE or WCW NWO Revenge, and then a WF Zone War. So pick those each up. Those were each marked a um, dollar eighteen as well. And we'll stick with uh, Goodwill. Picked up a nice 1958 little Bible with a wooden cover on it. Don't know too much about it, but I thought it was interesting. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to put it up on eBay. So. Um, let's see. Picked up some video games. Got some PlayStation 2 games. Um... Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, Orphan. Didn't know anything about that one. Had never seen it, so I picked that one up. Sonic Heroes, um, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Uh, I don't know why I picked up this baseball game, but I got it anyway. Um, Namcom's Museum. It's got the old Atari games. And this one was interesting, a jump pack. Um, it's essentially a, a beta version of a, nine different games. So I thought that would be interesting. I mean, and Henry might play that. Um, also picked up this little Iowa, Iowa. I don't know. I'm not sure how to say it. I used to call it Iowa. But it's a CD player. Works perfectly. Plays, so not a bad one for $1.98 as well. And then I got a couple Wii games, uh, Mario and Sonic Olympic game, and then Nash Car Unleashed 360. I got Angry Birds Trilogy, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So, uh, oh, one last thing for Goodwill is I picked up this Xbox 360. It was marked half off. Um, I think I wound up paying $22. Um, had two controllers, 
all the cables. Um, I don't know, that's kind of high, but it uh, actually, it doesn't work. It has a power issue, but I think it's going to be easily fixed. So I think I'm going to be able to actually fix it and then I can sell it or keep it as a, as a working console. But uh, yeah, the issue is it just has, uh, it overheats and then the, uh, the system shuts down. So it should just be the fan or the fan motor or something like that. So we'll see. All right, so oh, I also got this Platinum Xbox Spider-Man. Whenever I see uh, Spider-Man, I always have to pick it up. So it's complete, it's clean disc. So hopefully I can get that Xbox working. All right, that's it for the, the Goodwill finds. Um, it's at a garage sale. Went to an estate sale. The estate sale was a bust. The people had no idea what they were doing. They they were bringing things out. It was on the second day. They were still trying to bring things out of the, the house and put everything outside. And they weren't letting people go into certain rooms. And so I just walked out of that. And then down the street, there was a garage sale. So I picked up, uh, which I don't have out here. I picked up about eight um, Skylander figures, two baseball gloves, a face mask, and the two Joy-Cons here with the, the, the uh, nunchuck. And it cost me six dollars for all of that so um not bad black we this one's an actual black we with a white back that somebody used sharpie to, to color it not a bad job but uh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna keep these or put these up for sale either oh this was a surprising little find um a rock tumbler um I kind of have always wanted a nice rock tumbler, and I found one. It was uh, marked for nine dollars, and I got it, and it works perfectly. So, really good pickup as far as I'm concerned. These things usually sell for about anywhere from forty-nine to sixty bucks. Um, okay, picked up this camera. This got a really nice low pro. Um, case and it is a Sony Handycam um, uses the little uh, micro readable writable CD recorders or DVD RW recorded discs but I powered it up it has all the all the cords and everything it needs it's got a tripod mount and this really nice case um, picked that up for eight dollars so I think that's a pretty good buy um, Probably gonna put this up for sale. It's uh, I don't know. It's probably go for about thirty-five to forty bucks. All right. Um, got these little skateboards. Um, I actually didn't plan on reselling them, but uh, I thought my little one would want to play with them, but he didn't actually pay any attention to them, so I'll probably resell them. Those were, I think, those were a dollar as well. But can't resist. Um, picking up anything that's the Hobbit or, or the Lord of the Rings. So I found this, this is the a nice little paperback box set. So I already got a couple of those. That one will probably go up on, on eBay as well. Found these little trick golf balls. These are kind of neat. Paid a dollar for them. Um, got a wobbly putter, an exploding ball. Um... The Phantom, it vanishes when they hit it, and then the Jet Streamer, this one just doesn't fly straight. So I thought those were neat. For a buck, you can't go wrong. Um, I've seen them selling. The four balls together are selling for about $12 on eBay. So, And then there's this thing, the Instant Replay. Um, this is a 1970s um, little video record player thing that replayed sports events and the box is in really good shape but the actual player as you can see has seen better days so this is no good um, I actually bought it not for that but I bought it for the box and then it came with the little records so you know, there's an O.J. Simpson, Gail Sayers, a Willie Mays, a Dick Buckus, 
And there's a couple basketball players down here, I believe, that were pretty decent. Um, but all in all, it came with 11 discs, I believe. Yeah, 11. I think it's 11 little records. So, pretty good find. I think the discs are what are going to make me my money back. Um, I'll probably put the... I'll probably put the box in the <clears throat> in the instant replay um, thing up just for parts, and then the box can be used for somebody to use as a display item. So not bad. Uh, that's oh one last thing I picked up is I picked up these GameCube Mario Country bongo drums. So, fortunately, they didn't have the GameCube or the games, but they had the bongo drums, so they were cheap. I paid, uh, I think I paid $2 for both of them, actually, so couldn't go wrong there. Um, these are going up for sale. I think they're selling a couple of them. A pair of them will sell for about 20 bucks. so. So, getting some good inventory. I think I'm getting a lot of stuff. I'll get all this stuff up online. It'll be on the eBay store. You'll see the link, um, the link to this in my uh, video. So if you guys like what you see, go check it out. All right. Thank you. Have a good night.